Innovation is all around us, but our everyday clothing just remains the same. The last major breakthrough was Easy Iron in the 50s. Since then, sport brands are embracing new technologies, but the fashion industry is slow to adapt. With LabFresh, we want to be the brand that is the pioneer in premium tech-infused basics. We're setting new standards of what you expect from your clothing. We had no idea how it would go when we opened up pre-orders two months ago. Uh, we have now received orders for 180,000 euros and we are officially the most funded Dutch fashion project in Kickstarter history. Uh, the feedback from customers and the attention from all the media has blown us away and the success of that project has really shown us that there's a, a clear product market fit for what we do. Our research shows that four fabric properties makes life easier. No stains, no smell, no wrinkles and it has to be breathable and comfortable to wear. Most fashion houses are not interested in, in this kind of technology because it makes you buy less clothing. It's also very expensive to do molecular treatments and it complicates the whole supply chain. Uh, but we don't care about that. We just see it as a welcoming disruption opportunity. To us, the natural look and feel are the most important quality. Uh, we very much believe that if we need people to pay 99 euros for a shirt, it also has to look and feel like an expensive premium product. And that's why we're the most different from uh, other solutions in the market. Instead of just adding a surface treatment, then uh, we manipulate the fibers of the cotton to the very core, even before it's spun into fabric. We chose to go live with a white dress shirt, because we believe it's the most delicate item a man has in his closet. We think if we can fix that, we can also do the rest. We're now live with shirts, ties and socks, we we'll each have a unique palette of molecular treatments applied to it by our technology partners. Soon we will be able to do more categories, such so like t-shirt and pants. And instead of being married to one technology, we use the best treatment out there for each new category. All treatments we use, they're certified and cause no harm to you or the environment. A hundred billion pieces of clothing were produced in 2014. I think this is an insane amount to wrap your head around. On average, a clothing item is only worn eight times before it's thrown out. We think this is the most worst example of waste. With Labfresh, we want to fight fast fashion. Because true sustainability is where you wear the same shirt for years instead of buying new stuff all the time. So how big is the market for this kind of thing? It's hard to say because smart fabrics are almost nowhere to be found. But we do know that in the US, 1% of business wear and 2% of casual wear has moisture wicking properties, which improves breathability. Uh, but that's about it. So we believe we are well positioned to uh, build an aspirational brand and, and take leadership within this niche in Europe. I first moved to Amsterdam to start a personal shopping service for men called The Cloakroom. Uh, we started in the apartment of me and my former co-founder and within three and a half years we were the market leader in three countries and, and had raised three million euros in funding. Uh, it taught me a lot about how to build an aspirational brand online um, and how to operate e-commerce with tight margins. We believe Lefresh represents a unique opportunity to be the first tech-infused menswear brand in Europe before all these technologies become mainstream. Please invest in us today and help us create the next generation of apparels.